Many colleagues have written to me on this particular subject. Amongst them, a certain Colonel Montmorency. And uh, this, indeed, is his story. Montmorency, who was in Calcutta in 92, emerged from his retirement for the war. He wasn't very pleased with what he heard or what he saw. Whatever he felt, he tightened his belt and organized a corps. Oh, Colonel Montmorency thought, considering all the wars he thought, the Home Guard was his job to do or die. But after waiting weeks and years, bravely trying as manly it is, he wrote the following letter to the Minister of Supply. Could you please oblige us with a brain gun, or failing that a hand grenade would do? We've got some ammunition in a rather damp condition. And Major Huss has an arquebus that was used at Waterloo. With the vigorous serum pump, a pitchfork and a spade, it's rather hard to guard an aerodrome. So if you can't oblige us with a brain gun, the home guard might as well go home. Could you please oblige us with a brain gun? We're getting awfully tired of drawing loss. Today we had a shipment of some curious equipment And just for a prank they sent us a tank that ties itself in knots On Sunday's mock invasion Captain Clark was heard to say He hadn't even got a brush and comb So if you can't oblige us with a brain gun The home guard might as well go home Montmorency planned in case the enemy tried to land to fling them back by skill and armoured force. He realised his army should be mechanised, of course, but somewhere inside experience cried, My kingdom for a horse! Oh, Colonel Montmorency tried at infinite cost of time and pride to tackle his superiors again. Having just one motorbike, fourteen swords and a marlin spike, he couched the following letter in the following urgent strain. Could you please oblige us with a brand gun? We need it rather badly, I'm afraid. Our local crossword solver has an excellent revolver, but during a short attack on a fort, the trigger got mislaid. It also operations plan for Friday afternoon. Our orders are to storm the Hippodrome. So if you can't oblige us with a brand gun, the home gun might as well go home. Could you please oblige us with a brand gun? The black one is wounded to our pride. Last night we found the cutest, a little German parachutist Who looked at our kit and giggled a bit and laughed until he cried We'll, we'll have to hide that armoured car while we'll marching to Berlin We'd almost be ashamed of it in Rome So if you can't oblige us with a brand gun The home 